Hey guys, today we are going to talk about kind of the lottery system that we're currently under. And even though we don't have the super lottery called Expeditions or Masterpieces, we have the Master Series, which is a $10 MSRP booster pack and $204 a box, a box only containing 24 packs. That is the suggested retail value. Of course, we've seen boxes for $143 on Amazon Prime. We've seen packs in Target for $5 a pack. And I expect that to continue as we move to Black Friday. Black Friday is a very interesting time because there is going to be sales across the board, not just on Magic Cards. Now, one of the things I do not like about Iconic Masters is emphasized heavily on this particular image. You have a $2 Mythic and then you have an $85 Mythic. But beyond the $85 Mythic, the next two most expensive Mythics are $15 a piece. That is horrible spread. I mean, it's feast or famine and most of you are starved to death because it's mana drain or bust. There's only one Mythic where you could get more than your MSRP at buy list, and that's Mana Drain. Now, people are saying, oh, there's a lot of great value in the rares and the uncommons. I'm here to tell you that there is just not. Uh, there is not great value in the rares. You have one at 37, which is dropping and plummeting fast. You have one at 30, one at 29, and then from that there on, it's pretty bad. I mean, if you look at it, Glimpse the Unthinkable is 11 bucks. I think that's going to drop below 10 in no time. Magus and Moon, I think it'll be below 10. Even Doxies, I think, will be below 10. Grove, the Burn Willow is kind of a good card. Visions is kind of a good card. But then you flip it around. Let's say like we flip it and you look at like all the other cards you can be getting. For every one Mana Drain, there's the other cards, which are $15 and under. For every one semi-okay $20 card that you might be getting, there is a million of these cards. Lord of the Pit, Hellkite, I mean these cards are not bad cards in limited, but they are bad if you're paying $10 a pack or you're paying $240 a box, therefore their box prices are not going to be like this. I'm here to tell you long term, I don't see this ever going up given the quality of its content. The quality is not high. Mana Drain, and that's it. I, that's literally it. Uh, I know people are hyping up a lot of these cards, including Bobble. I'm here to tell you Bobble is not a $6 card, although it is currently trending at $6. It's not even a $5 card. It's not even a $4 card. It's going to plummet. All of these prices you see right now are not going to be the same prices. Now, the big discrepancy of a box being good and a box not being good is so much right it's either you hit mana drain and you did okay with the rest of the cards or you didn't hit mana drain and now you're out 100 200 dollars like it's pretty bad it's really really bad you look at this backwards so if you look at the analysis backwards you just realize how ridiculous it is you have a two three three four four five six seven 9, 11, 11, 12, 15, 15, 85. There are 15 mythics here. One of them is not like the other ones. And one of them is $2. I cannot imagine the feeling that you pull a channel and you pull either Omnixilis or Nekopotent or Kiki Jiki, and those are your two mythics for the box. I do want to focus a tiny bit on Mana Drain itself because that's what people are saying is really good and that's what people are hyping up as the chase card. There's never been a set like this before. So in the lottery system, you could pay $100 for a box, right, and pour, pull a Force of Will, and the Force of Will would pay for the box back, right? Here, we're still in the lottery system, except instead of expeditions or masterpieces we have foil mana drains at 200 and that's it that is it so i'm here to tell you this set is there's a problem and the problem is the spread of value of the set it's not even and there's not enough value like when you look at modern master 2017 again same msrp lily 
I'd rather have Lily to mana drain. Uh, Snap is in there. All five fetch lands are in there. And uh, all five of the enemy fetch lands are in there. You have Goblin Guide. You have a lot of good value when compared to Iconic Masters. If there is a set for you to buy tons of, it would not be this one. It would be Modern Masters 2017. I mean, when you compare the two, it's night and day. Yes, you can get hosed in Modern Masters 2017, but there's more. There's five fetch lands instead of just the few lands that are worth more than $20. And the fetch lands themselves are worth more. The blue fetches, Misty and Tarn, are worth more than any of the rares in the set. And that doesn't include just the better mythics overall. So when you look at the expected value, I cannot understand why people are saying it's so high. Because unless I'm looking at this incorrectly, there's no value. There's no value in the mythics. There's no value in the rares. There's no acceptable value in the uncommons. Yes, there is a supposedly $6 uncommon here. That's not going to last. You guys know it's not going to last. This cannot be $6. It just cannot. And saying that, oh, this is a $20 card. No, it's not a $20 card. It's not even a $6 card. Maybe in the future, it'll be a $5 card again. But that's not how it works. Oh, Death Shadows and Modern Masters. Modern Masters 2017 was so much better than this set for the same price. It doesn't even come close. And Modern Masters 2017, price-wise, has not recovered and will take some time to recover. But if you really want an opportunity that would be it. I mean, I still heavily advise you not to speculate in boxes, given the fact that you don't have the same distribution network as some um, people in YouTube do. And you don't have the same subscriber base, you don't have the same fans, you don't you cannot sell like one of the biggest problems with a individual buyer is they don't have the selling potential as a a Rudy who has a large eBay and a large following. He can sell boxes for 180, 200 all day long. People will buy 200 from him. People are not going to buy 200 from you. Bobble, bobble, bobble. Um, man, the people who keep saying this card is over $10, like I don't, let's be realistic. This card is never going to be worth $10 ever again. Um, I'm just going to go out saying it. Like it, it's not going to be. You can buy this card in Walmart. You can pull, you can pull a card like this in Walmart right now as we speak. That's the big difference. People don't get it. The big difference is Modern Masters 2017 is not in Walmart. Iconic Masters is in Walmart. Iconic Masters, Amazon Prime, Meyer, um, Target. But it's not good. That's There's too much supply. There's too much supply of it out there. And if anyone tells you they know exactly how much is out there, they have no clue. Because I'm sure Walmart is hiding that fact. They This is a test run, right? And people are buying this in Walmart. They're buying more of this from Walmart than they are from their local game stores. Because it's Walmart. People just buy stuff from Walmart. They buy stuff from Target. They buy stuff from Amazon Prime. I wish I had been there to buy the deal because I would have bought at one forty three. Why do you need someone to sell you boxes when or distributor when you can buy it for cheaper online? It's the same thing I tell... I told all those people on the phone who were trying to sell me Born of the Gods for seven dollars a box. I get it for fifty five from a large comp a website like that's available for the public, and at fifty five, they're actually give really happy to get rid of it with the free shipping and stuff. Why would I buy from you for seventy? Like I don't know you, you don't know me. Why would I just give you extra money like just because that I think you're cool? No. So the model. The current model for stores to buy boxes is not in place for them to be profitable. Uh, I will just point blank say that. None of these boxes that are currently out there. Our Devastation is under $72 a box right now on Dave and Adams. That's a box in standard. And I'll get to our Devastation a little later this week. Anyway, bye guys.